Hey there, comic book fans. I'm back from the comic shop again this week. Five new comics and a book. And I just realized I was supposed to have a sixth comic, bang number five. But I guess it didn't come. They did say they were shorted a box. Maybe it was in there. Uh, so, and I think it's supposed to be the last issue of the bang, but I don't even know anymore because it doesn't seem like I can wrap up the story in one issue, but I didn't get that. First, let me show you the comic bought only for its cover that I had lying out this week. This is probably one not many people like. It's this strange abstract cover to Eternity number four from, I didn't even buy the series. I just remember buying this cover because I, I liked it, caught my eye and I liked it for some reason. It's just this weird shards of color cover. I can't even explain it to you because I don't know. I just kind of like it. Uh, so not my normal comic book cover I have lying out for a week to look at, but here's a real weird one. Came out in 2018, uh, Valiant Comics. I don't even know who did the cover, but there you go. A bunch of weird shapes. <laughs> then what else do we have? We've got some True Believers. True Believers, The Avengers, Black Knight. Let's see what issue this was. Issue number 48. This is the first appearance of the Black Knight. What Avengers was I just reading? The first appearance of something I can't even remember. <laughs> and I was just about that. There, I am the Black Knight. I was never a fan of the Black Knight because once again, he was in the he was in the time before superheroes and villains had healing factors. So he's one of these guys who carried around. He was carrying a lance. All the heroes who had swords and lances and claws in the 70s couldn't cut anyone with them. The Valkyrie was forever yelling, you only deserve the flat of my blade, and smacking guys with the side of her sword. It wasn't until the, the healing factor became big in like the 90s that all these guys with weapons could hit each other with them. <laughs> then we've got... The Incredible Hulk with the first Doc Samson. I always liked this cover. Let's see. Issue 141. This is a Herb Trimpy cover, isn't it? Yeah, that's a Herb Trimpy cover. I don't know who's inking him, though. It's either inking himself or it's one of the Severins. I don't remember. Herb Trippy and John Severin inside, so maybe John Severin's inking the cover, too. Uh, I think I've read this one before. Yeah, yeah I, I must have. But I always liked that cover. I always thought it was cool. I always liked Doc Samson, too. Sort of the, uh, the, the psychiatrist Hulk. It's like, yes, I'm a psychiatrist, and I'm going to bombard myself with gamma rays. But good stuff. And then... A third reprint, this time a facsimile edition, so I paid $4 for it. Avengers 57, the first vision. We're looking for people who can draw. I've always liked, this one's been reprinted a bunch of times. It was hot a few years ago, too, when the movie first came out. But, you know, this is one, I'll pay $4 for the first, uh, for the first appearance of the vision. Why not? John Buscema artwork. Who's inking him on this? George Klein inking him. This the you know the the facsimile editions are the ones that publish the ads and everything too. I'm you know I'd just as soon pay a dollar for the True Believers one, but you know for four dollars I'll buy it. There's Ultron. For four dollars I'll get some of them, like the first vision. It just I I like the new printings. I like how sharp they are. Uh, I just enjoy him. Then let's see. We've got The Boys, Dear Becky, number six. I think there's one more issue of this, which makes this one the penultimate issue. What do we got there? Oh, it's hands painting a scene of the boys and dead superheroes. And big Happy Mountains. I've been enjoying this one. Russ Braun artwork, Garth Ennis writing. So it's, it's like a flashback story. Here's um, Huey and... Oh, I can't remember the his girlfriend's name. Same one as in the show. They're in the present. 
and they're telling the, the, the uh, Huey's like reading the journal of um, the butcher. Butcher is uh, some stuff that happened before he was around the boys. I don't know how this is going to project out going forward, but we got the present, we got the past going on. Then we've got Norse Mythology, issue number two. More Neil Gaiman, uh, Craig Russell, Jerry Ordway, Laverne uh, Kinzierski, and Galen Showman. I don't know, I'm sure who Galen Showman is, but um, I mean, it's. I guess Neil Gaiman did a novel of te- retelling the Norse myths, so um, Craig Russell has been adapting it, and Jerry Ordway has been. Uh, doing some of the art on it too. I, I think, because uh, usually Craig Russell on his adaptations usually does the writing. Yeah, he does this, he's credited with the story and words by Neil Gaiman, script and layouts by P. Craig Russell's. Oh, Galen Showman is the letterer. Well, I guess this one was all Jerry Ordway, this issue. Hmm, it is. Nice stuff though. But I, Dark Horse comics are really flimsy. I'm not a fan of that. You get a real cover on here. It's self-covered, which means the cover is the same pages as the insides, and it's flimsy. I do not like that. <coughs> but what's not flimsy... Hold on, let me get a sip of water. There we go. Had to get my water bottle. But what's not flimsy is this giant book I got. Remember a couple weeks ago I mentioned the Chris Ware book? Well, it's in. It's nice size. Uh, what is the name of it? Monograph. Chris Ware. And Chris Ware is one of those guys that I wish I liked better, but I just don't like his writing, but his artwork is beautiful. His book design is beautiful. And I was looking at this in my comic shop um, a couple weeks ago, and found out the price on it is only thirty dollars. For the and it's, uh, I'll 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 give us a closer look in our new video this week. But it's all about his process and the things he's made, and he walks you through all sorts of stuff. Let me go to see the there. Yeah. It reproduces sort of artist edition style some of the pages and then the printed pages. And it's just got tons and tons. There's even like fold-outs and stuff in here. And, oh, geez, I guess he did a whole bunch of ads. Like, oh, here's... This is actually a booklet, I think. I see it's stapled in there. There's actually a book in the book. Uh, some of his New Yorker covers, printed giant size. I, oh, I can barely hold it. But anyway, $30. It's got, it's weird. It's got a, a sticker over the old UPC. I don't know if there was a price at first, and then they lowered it to $30. If you look here, you can see sticker upon sticker. But, uh, wow, really? $30 for this book? I'll, I said I'd take one, so they ordered me one up. Uh, and here it is. But, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a closer look at this in one of my videos. But, wow, it's, it's really nice to look at. All that type work, all that, you know, that because he, he does all sorts of interesting little things with his books that he puts out. So besides the the comic strip part of it. So uh, I look forward to reading those. Let me show you a little of my art. I, I just have this one black and white dreams of things up here. I think I've shown you everything else, but... Um, I don't know what else. I, well, what have I been, did, been do, busy doing? I don't know. <laughs> but here's a black and white dreams of things that I just did this week. It's got to be marker colored like these eventually. I'll put it in the bin. I have a bin of stuff that I uh, work in my... Hold on, it's right here. I love this box. This is an aluminum 11 by 17 box, which I put my to be worked on work in. So this will go in here and I'll pull it out when I want to color one. But there we go. This got these four faces on two figures. <laughs> One's kind of on the wall back there, but uh, 98, I'm almost up to, I'm closing in on a hundred of these done. I think that'll be pretty cool when I get a hundred of them done. Let's see what's back here. 
What are these from? 1026? When's the last time I did a video? 1027? I don't know, but I'll show you this little one too, just because I like it. So there you go. A little bit of artwork, some comic books, and you guys all have a good week out there.